G'day, my name's Tom, and this is part 3, Exonal Transport. This will be a quick video today, and it's, uh, it's going to be about, like I said, Exonal Transport. This is uh, the axon of a neuron, and uh, here we have a microtubule, which we can think of as a rail-like system, and attached to this rail-like system are our transport proteins, kinesin and dynein, and these transport proteins carry with them uh, certain vesicles uh, here, for example, uh, and, and, and also uh, the kinesins, um, they travel mostly in the enterograde direction, although they can also travel in the opposite direction, which is the retrograde direction. Um, on the other hand, however, dynians only travel in the retrograde direction, which is towards the soma or cell body, um, and the, the up, uh, other end, of course, is the terminals or uh, um, you know where the neurotransmitter comes out. Um, so, what um, what happens is that the kin uh, the kinesins and the dynians, they they have these legs here and um, they sort of, uh, this one would say attach here and then this one would deattach and then move forward and attach and then this one would detach and then move forward and attach and this this would continue and continue and so it's sort of like a walk, a walking fashion um, and it does, it does this by uh, the hydrolysis of ATP, and uh, so, and it, both of these do uh, are moving in this walking fashion and using ATP, and um, most of the time, uh, if something's travelling in the anterograde direction, that the vesicle will contain something like an an enzyme or a neurotransmitter. or perhaps, oops, neurotransmitter, or perhaps, um, perhaps even uh, nutrients, oh, I've done it again, nutrients, sorry about that, nutrients, and um, however in this other direction um, we get things like growth factors, growth factors, um, and we get we get other things we get uh, sort of chemical signals and different things like that but an important note here uh, that um, harmful uh, agents um, pathogens can invade the central nervous system by retrograde transport um, for example the polio viruses uh, the herpes simplex, rabies, there's a whole bunch. Um, and so that's something uh, to keep in mind, uh, perhaps interesting. And another thing is that these transport proteins um, aren't unique to the neuron cell. Um, they are associated uh, with microtubules which are found in uh, a lot of cells. So. Anyway, this has been Exonal Transport, and I hope you've learnt something. Thanks.